Hello, everybody. Welcome to Most Wanted Topics. I'm your host, Kevin Dennison, along with me, Atomic Tommy. And boy, I know we're a day late, everybody, but bear with us, man. We had to take an extra breath. It was a busy, busy weekend. Free comic book day, Star Wars day. The crowds were in an epic crowd. We were maxed out. We were maxed out. Free comic book day has come and gone. Uh, what a busy weekend. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We have I know the greatest there. customers. Thank we you for coming have, yep, out and absolutely. supporting us. And uh, many a free comics to be had. Yes, I hope everybody got you know the titles they wanted. Uh, I know some of them were harder to get than others, so I hope everybody had the luck that they needed. Yeah, you know? and you know we're, we're, we apologize. We had some technical difficulties. We were going to do a Friday preview. We were only able to get up on Facebook. Our apologies for not getting it out on YouTube. Uh, we did have a couple of questions. And, you know, yeah, you know, we're, there is about 45 to 50 titles every year that go out. We, we didn't order all of them. But, yes, there are other free comics besides Marvel and DC. There's Dynamite, Image, of course, Boom. Um, Dynamite. Dynamite, Boom, Image, IDW, they all yeah, release stuff. Well, yeah, we had Turtles. We had Mad. We had um, some titles from... Even Dark Horse. Even you Dark know. Horse. Dark Horse, yep, correct. And, you know, one of the other questions was, do these free comics retain value? Uh, and the answer is it sometimes depends. it depends. Yeah. Sometimes uh, there's a, an occasional Star Wars or Spider Man that'll hold up. Usually, you know? Uh, you know, a few examples that come to mind is, uh, you know, the the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, uh, free comic book day from I think almost twenty years ago, and same thing with uh, a, a Spider Man free comic book day, which was the first uh, appearance of Mister Negative. Uh, you know, but it, it really, there aren't, you know, any huge hits out there in the free comic book day sort of genre that it really comes down to, you know, are they rare? How many people have them? How many people, have, you know, what kind of shape are they in for what they are? And, and do they have any sort of character significance such as a first appearance or something? But there really aren't that many, isn't a whole lot of value to free comics. Uh, they, you know, for the most part, they are, you know, what's the name free. So usually they don't, nothing's too crazy about them. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I mean, it's not you're not going to get rich out of it, but every once in a while, there's a couple that hold some value. So that's and and I know that there were a few other questions uh, that were asked. Uh, we did answer them in our Facebook post. So if you have Facebook, go check it out. Uh, we did answer those questions in the video. We just apologize we couldn't get that video up on YouTube. Yeah, once again, we apologize for the diff technical difficulties, and so we're back on. Hey, we're back at it. We're going to have a quick show tonight. Uh, May 11th, this Saturday, we're already back into signing this new pain day. New pain day. We're going to have Kia Champagne here. We're going to have Tom Nguyen here. We're going to have uh, Double D, Brian Double D here. Um, and some of the other crew that work in New Pain Productions to put out uh, great entertainment and some great books. I tell you, as we've been talking about over the months here, uh, the independents are doing some great work right now. Yeah. And uh, Key Champagne has been in for 30 years. I just read his newsletter. Uh, 30 years in the business doing work for Marvel, DC, and and, and Dark Horse, and, and all, all the guys. You know, now they're under, you know, Tom Nguyen, same thing. These guys have been in the game, they're pros, and they're putting out some quality work, so... You're going to get a chance to to see them. They're going to be on the, the show next week. We're going to uh, interview them while they're here over the weekend signings. You're going to get to learn more about them and know how to support their upcoming campaigns that are coming up. So uh, stay tuned for that. Hey, shout out to Matt and JD. Shout out to Logan. Shout out to uh, Scott. Boys, I tell you what, um, Logan, hey, your graduation's coming up, buddy. We're proud of you. Uh, I understand you did a fandom film. Um, we're going to put a link to that fandom film for you uh, down below. We're so proud to see the young kids come into the store, and we're they, you know, they're producing their own work. And I don't care, the guy. We're proud of you, buddy. You stuck your chin out there. You put a piece of work out there, and you can only improve from there. Uh, good job uh, doing a high school project. Absolutely. You made your own movie, um, and yeah, it, you've, you can only you can only start from the ground up and work your way up. So I commend you on getting the process going with your fandom. And uh, following your dreams and uh, making a movie, so uh, we we put a link to that uh, so you can check it out if you want to uh, just 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 see a, a, a fun kid just having fun doing what he loves. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, congratulations on that, and uh, we'll hopefully get an interview with him uh, coming up uh, when we get a chance uh, after his high school graduation. Uh, yeah. With that, let's talk about some comics that are coming out. Um, Let's let's hear about it. Let's 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 go into it. Yeah, you know this was a pretty light week. I really don't have anything to say about the comics that came out this week. Um, you know, DC didn't really release much. 
Marvel didn't really release much. You know, first week of May, it was really light. Uh, so really, there isn't anything to say about this past week. In Wasn't comics. disappointed with Nick Fury though. No, Good Fury was pretty cool. Deadpool was pretty cool. I just don't the Deadpool Wolverine uh, World War Three to be more specific. That stuff was all just too early to tell. Pretty cool. It's early to tell. And to be honest, I just you know I'm not really into those characters, so I don't really have anything to say about it. Um, I thought Nick Fury was kind of cool, so we'll see where it goes from here. That yes, that's good. Good take. Uh, coming up this week, though, we have we have some things to discuss. Uh, Turtles may have ended, but don't worry. They're still putting out, for you Turtles fans, TMNT, uh, Black, White, and Green, number one, a new Turtles miniseries, just to, to keep those whistles wet before the reboot starts later in the summer. Uh, how about that John Romita Jr. Daredevil cover? I've told you guys time and time again, John Romita Jr., give or take for me, but, man, he can draw a Daredevil cover uh, he, he's really good at it. That comes out. That's great. Uh, also, Energon Universe special number one, I figured. Now, it's early. I haven't read it yet. I'm not sure if it's the same thing as what was released in the free comic book day. Uh, we'll have to check it out this week. Uh, but an Energon Universe one-shot is releasing this week, Just and it looks fairly similar to the free comic book day one. I'm not quite sure how to feel about that yet, and I'm not quite sure if it's the exact same. We'll have to compare next week uh, and have a little discussion on that because I think there's something to be said about releasing a free comic book day book for free and then releasing the same book for paid price. I think there's something to be said about that, and if it is the case where it is the same, we will have that discussion next week. Yeah, we'll dive into that one because that would be, be really dumb. We will dive into that, but again, I'm not saying anything yet. I haven't read it yet. We haven't checked it out. No, nope, we're not going to judge it yet. We're not going to judge it yet. I'm just putting it out there that it's a possibility. That's this week for you. It's on the agenda. It's on the agenda. <laughs> uh, let's talk about everything going on right now in, in sort of the news. Uh, we have a Superman costume reveal from James Gunn. That was a big one. That was a big deal. Uh, it was actually a huge deal because... It's really our first piece of real evidence that this movie's actually happening. Yes, we've gotten casting announcements, little mini, you know, pictures of the cast, but we haven't really seen anything from the film yet. This is our first little glimpse of that. Uh, and the I, staple of DC, Superman, the most important thing to set the tone for first impression is the costume. Is the costume. Let's talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> is it iconic? It is iconic. You know, I think there was a... I knew, now, I knew there was going to be some backlash. You know, the Snyder fans love to hate, okay? They, they love to just instantly write off James Gunn stuff, no matter what it is. You see it, I see it, everybody sees it. Except uh, for one thing, James Gunn stuff is awesome. James Gunn stuff is awesome, <laughs> but the Snyder fans, they love to try and tear it down, okay? Uh, now, don't get me wrong, there I, lo- I, I enjoy things about the Snyder films, but it's time to move on, but yep. we're not here to talk about that. Change the poopy diaper. <laughs> Change the poopy diaper. Yeah, we're going to be happy. But, so I knew this was going to be backlash, but I was actually surprised at the amount of backlash it received. Uh, there are a lot of people who are not happy with the suit. So, I, you know, there's a picture of it behind me. You can see it. Uh, it's a it's a mix. You know, there's elements from the classic suit. You obviously have that nice Kingdom Come logo. And uh, there's a lot of things taken from the new 52 suit, specifically a lot of the uh, sort of sleeve designs, uh, sort of the chest accent and details, as well as the neck collar. That's sort of a new 52 thing. Now, I'm a new 52 fan, the Superman new 52 suit is one of my favorites, so I have no problems with this. I know what a lot of people were talking about and complaining about was how it fit on uh, the actor. Some you know, some of the suit was kind of folding over and bending as he was putting the boot on. Uh, I think that's something that you guys are kind of jumping the gun on a little bit. Yeah, no think, pun intended. Yeah, I think you're a little... Uh, little whatever, I'm not going to go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not just... I, I just think, he, uh, you know, it's an awkward pose. It is, you know, just a picture you got to see it in the film, I think, before you come to any rash decisions. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with the Kingdom Come S. I, li- I like more of a classic Superman. I like a little brighter. Mm-hmm. New 52 is when everything kind of went dark for DC. Everything was headed like a darker. Everything was darker, 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 darker. And um, the suit, I don't know what to make of it. I, I, the first thing that came to my mind, too, was, oh, we're back to New 52. 
which is fine. I'm not going to dump on him like a Snyder fan. Like I said, I'm not going to have a poopy diaper over it. I'm okay with the suit being. It almost looks like it's a like a Teflon kind of spandex yeah. Teflon. I don't, hey, I don't know. Here's the thing about the new 52 trying to adapt it, right? There's a lot of, you know, there are a lot of darker stories in the new 52, but what I think really sets it apart is it's a very unique art style. There's a lot of there's a lot of different styles and colors and designs that go into these characters. Uh, you know, in their suits, it's a lot of lines. It's a lot of penciling detail. It's a lot there of, is a lot of detail. You know, it's a lot of detail, and that detail can be hard to adapt. You know, we see it with we've seen it with a, every time they try to do it. We, we've had, sort of had this problem, right? Uh, the Flash suit from uh, the 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 Flash film that released last year. That was a very much New Fifty Two inspired suit, and for me, it kind of missed uh, because they, it it just didn't look right. In, in a live action form. And I think it's it's hard to adapt that sort of heavily detailed style into a into a suit, into a real life suit. And which is why you don't really see it a whole lot, right? Which is why <laughs> you look at the CW suits, man, they didn't even try and touch that stuff, right? They didn't even try and go near because they knew they weren't just going to fumble the bag. Uh, and that's why even in the Snyder, you know, when he was de- developing his suits and designing his costumes... There wasn't a lot of New 52 style in what they're doing because it was just so hard to make, I think. And to see it sort of, you know, put in here, I think does make the suit look a little weird. I like the New 52 stuff. I like I like the chin collar. I think that's cool. Uh, but I just think it, it, they got to be careful because it can get a little weird. Yep. And it can look a little strange. And it's okay to have some classic nostalgia to the costume. Yeah, I I do think the suit should have been a little brighter. Brighter. I think the dark blue, you know, is is reminiscent of of a Cavill blue suit, uh, but I think it should have been a little bit brighter. Uh, I think the actor is great. I think he looks great in the suit, but we will have to wait to see you know a trailer or anything before we make any. Yep, final I'm not going to make any final judgments. So like I said, I'm not going to cry over it. It is what it is. James Gunn, I trust, will do a good, better job than what a DC has done in the past. Yeah. So, fans, what we have to look forward to is at least no matter what, we should get a better movie out of this thing. We should get a better movie. Even if we don't like the costume, we should get a better movie. Let's look at what DC's been lacking. All their movies suck. All their movies suck. So let's let's, let's look at the bright side that we're going to get a decent film out of this. Now, this sort of costume design makes me curious as to how they will approach uh, the Supergirl suit because we know Supergirl's going to be in... The film, you know, she's going to have her own film, and that film will be based off of the Woman of Tomorrow run done by Tom King, which is incredibly popular. Now, that suit is, 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 you know, every artist has a different style, so everybody draws Supergirl a little bit of a different way. And I just wonder what kind of a suit will we get. Will we get a uh, sort of Woman of Tomorrow-inspired Supergirl suit, or will we get a more New 52-esque suit, or will we get a combo sort of like what we got with Superman? I'm very curious to sort of see how they will handle these designs now, now that we kind of have a feel for what their inspiration is like, you know? So I think that'll be interesting to see going forward. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to roll on it. So what else is going on, Atomic Tommy? Anything else we have to discuss? Well, uh, you know, I I think that was the big one for the week. I think that was the big one. We didn't have much for this one because basically it's recovery mode, getting everything ready for new pain. Um Next weekend's going to be a big show, so everybody be ready for that. We're back We're back to a normal schedule. We'll have some other announcements, too, next week on some future signings at the store. Uh, but once again, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, it was just a fun, fun weekend uh, for Free Comic Book Day to celebrate comics. And uh, thanks to everybody who showed up and took part and uh, made it a successful weekend. And uh, I think... I think that's a wrap, everybody. I think that's a wrap. Yeah, we'll see everybody next week.